So, now see here there are the two waves one is represented by y 1 a sin omega 1 t that can be written a sin 2 pi nu 1 t omega y 2 is equal to a sin omega 2 t that is here a sin 2 pi nu 2 into t. So, we can write y is equal to y 1 plus y 2 according to the principle of superposition and then we can write a sin 2 pi nu 1 t plus a sin 2 pi nu 2 t. But see here the difference between these frequencies should be here less than 10 not more than 10. So, or that you can say the difference should be less difference not larger difference. See here difference is less than 10 it is there then we can see the we can hear the sound clearly say and separately because that is based on actually the persistence of hearing on the ear. Whenever we hear some sound it remains here for 1 by 10 seconds. So, if any sounds come before 1 by 10 seconds we cannot distinguish between the sounds. So, obviously the sound should come after 1 by 10 seconds. So, the frequency difference should be less than 10. So, now here in this case we can apply here again sin alpha plus sin beta is equal to twice of cos alpha minus beta by 2 sin alpha plus beta upon 2. When we solve this we will be getting y is equal to 2 a cos here alpha minus beta we can take common here 2 pi nu 1 minus nu 2 into t by 2 and here sin 2 pi nu 1 plus nu 2 into t upon 2 here. So, in this case here this is the equation for the beats formation and now here see here this is a nu 1 plus nu 2 divided by 2 does not vary with the time because that is equal uh, that is actually average of the two frequencies and if the nu 1 and nu 2 are there is not much difference between them then this quantity does not vary with the time. So, here this is the quantity nu 1 minus nu 2 will be varying with the time here. So, now we will write here y is equal to 2 a pi 2 a cos pi into nu 1 minus nu 2 into t and sin pi nu 1 plus nu 2 into t. So, now we will take this equation and under and understand the condition for the maximum and minimum amplitudes. So, now in this equation we can take this is uh, an amplitude. So, we can write a is equal to 2 a cos pi nu 1 minus nu 2 into t. If this part is maximum then the amplitude will be maximum. So, we can write here cos pi nu 1 minus nu 2 into t is equal to plus minus 1 is equal to cos n pi where n is equal to 0 1 2 3. So, we can write here pi nu 1 minus nu 2 into t is equal to n pi cancel here. So, t is equal to n upon nu 1 minus nu 2. So, we can get here 0 1 upon nu 1 minus nu 2 2 upon nu 1 nu 1 minus nu 2 and like this here to n times. So, here this is the time intervals. So, this time and this time and this time in these time intervals we will be getting amplitude maximum that means intensity of the sound is maximum. We can get delta t is equal to here time interval is equal to 1 upon nu 1 minus nu 2. So, we can write here now nu 1 minus nu 2 is equal to here 1 upon delta t is equal to that is called beats frequency. So, see a nu 1 minus nu 2 is called here the beats frequency, but it is the frequency of here the maximum intensity. So, in these time intervals you will be getting here intensity of sound is maximum. So, this is the condition for maxima. Now, we can go for the condition for minima. So, now we can study for condition for minima here. So, amplitude will be minimum if this quantity is minimum here. So, we can write here cos pi nu 1 minus nu 2 into t is equal to 0 that is minimum and we can write cos here 
टू एन प्लस वन इन टू पाई अपॉन टू वेर वी कैन टेक एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू एंड हि थ्री वन टू थ्री लाइक लाइक दिस सो वी कैन राइट हियर पाई न्यू वन माइनस न्यू टू इन टू टी इज इक्वल टू टू एन प्लस वन इन टू पाई अपॉन टू पाई पाई विल गेट कैंसल सो टी इज इक्वल टू टू एन प्लस वन अपॉन वी विल बी गेटिंग ट्वाइस ऑफ न्यू वन माइनस न्यू टू एंड पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इक्वल टू दिस वी कैन गेट फर्स्ट ईयर वन अपॉन ट्वाइस ऑफ न्यू वन माइनस न्यू टू एंड देन वी कैन गेट इफ यू पुट एन इक्वल टू वन यू विल बी गेटिंग ईयर थ्री अपॉन टू इन टू न्यू वन माइनस न्यू टू एंड इफ यू आर टेकिंग हियर द टू यू विल बी गेटिंग हियर फाइव अपॉन ट्वाइस ऑफ न्यू वन माइनस न्यू टू सो ऑन टू एन टाइम्स ईयर सो वी कैन राइट हियर डेल्टा टी इज इक्वल टू अगेन इफ यू टेक डिफरेंस यू विल बी गेटिंग वन अपॉन न्यू वन माइनस न्यू टू सो न्यू वन माइनस न्यू टू इज हियर कॉल्ड बीट्स फ्रिक्वेंसी बट दिस बीट बीट्स फ्रिक्वेंसी इज द एक्चुअली फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ द मिनिमम आफ्टर दीज टाइम इंटरवल्स मिनिमम फ्रिक्वेंसी और मिनिमम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द साउंड विल बी ऑप्टेन सो नाउ वी हैव सीन इन दिस फिनोमिना देयर इज ऑल्टरनेट वेरिएशन इन द इंटेंसिटीज ऑफ द साउंड when the two waves are superimposing traveling in the same direction having almost same frequencies and this phenomenon is known as beats by using this concept that is called waxing and waning also here we can we can find the frequency of the unknown tuning fork if you have been given the two two tuning forks and they are sounded together and they are waxed it means some wax is put on their prongs and they are waned here then by that phenomena we can calculate the frequency of unknown frequency of the given tuning fork